Catherine McMahon, I'm co-creditor of Women's Weekly magazine and I'm going to show you how to make the carrot and raisin loaf. The ingredients for this are 200 grams of self-raising flour, a pinch of salt, 175 grams of light brown sugar or light muscovado sugar, 250 grams of carrots which is approximately two large carrots, 150 grams of raisins, two teaspoons of ground mixed spice, three medium eggs, 150 milliliters of sunflower oil, and for the topping, it takes a 200 gram carton of full fat cream cheese, three tablespoons of icing sugar, the zest of a lemon, and I'm using some marzipan carrots for the decoration for the top. So the main equipment needed for this cake is a grater to grate the carrots, a hand whisk to beat it together and a one kilo size loaf tin which I've buttered and lined with a strip of baking parchment. So to make the cake I'm going to add the salt to the flour, so just a little bit of salt and then I'm going to add the sugar and two teaspoons of the ground mixed spice. So it's level teaspoons. And the raisins. Then I'm going to mix that together and then add the carrot which I've coarsely grated. And I've added the eggs to the oil and I'm going to whisk those lightly and then pour that into the bowl. And I'm going to use a hand whisk to whisk the ingredients together. Okay, so the mixture now has all come together. I'll just give it a quick stir and then spoon it into the lined tin. last bit out of it and the loaf now needs to go in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade which is gas for for about an hour It's about an hour to cook, but the way to check that it's done is to take it out of the oven, keep the oven closed so you don't lose any heat, and just feel it to make sure that it will come back when it's pressed in the centre, and then stick a skewer into the cake and take it out. If the skewer is clean, then the cake is cooked. If there's any mixture on the skewer, then it's not cooked through and it will need a little bit longer cooking. So I'm going to place the tin on a wire rack so the air can circulate around it and I'm going to leave it to cool in the tin for about 10 to 15 minutes. So to make the topping I've put the cream cheese in a bowl and I need to add the lemon zest and I find the easiest way is to use one of these fine graters but I only just want the top layer of the skin of the lemon, I don't want any of the white pith because that would be bitter. All the natural lemon oils are in the yellow skin. 
Okay, so that's the lemon zest. And then I add the icing sugar. And then I need to mix this all together. Okay, so once it's at a spreading consistency, I'm going to put it on top of the cake and then spread it out with a palette knife. Taking it right out to the edges. And then I can arrange the marzipan carrots on the top. So that's my finished carrot loaf.